we have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. I'm at the gathering place. Just got some food. And I got me a shadow from the fucking Nazi mental health fucking whatever they are. BSEJ058. Uh, parking marker 128 for the North Bay Regional Health Center. You're gonna shadow me, I'll shadow you, you fucking bitch. Hi there. I just had to come to the washroom. So I came back inside, and I wanna see who this representative is from the North Bay Regional Health fucking something. Anyway, the Nazi fucking swastika sign, the mental health experts in North Bay that torture people. So I'm gonna try and see who he is. And film it. See how this works. I was looking for the representative who's here from the North Bay Regional Health. Oh, there is no rep here. What do you mean? Uh, um, from the far outside, just BMW outside from, from the Canadian, or sorry, North Bay Regional Mental Health. I was just wondering who that was. Well, the BMW is mine. Oh, you're the one. No, it's, it's, uh, I'm borrowing somebody else's. Where does it say that? Well, it has it on the parking. Uh, oh, if she's a. a, a Ophthalmologist. She's an ophthalmologist? Yeah, she's not. If you're looking at the little black one? Yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. I might know her. What's her name? Dr. Christie. Dr. Christie? Kesti. No, no. She's uh, she's an ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist? Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. I was just curious. No, I'm driving the car. She's lending me her car. That's why I said. Oh, okay. I was just curious. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. I You're gonna have to Google ophthalmologist. Oh, look! 5 0. <laughs> ophthalmologist. Dr. Gersty or something. Oh, just about to Google that shit. Let's go see the federal liberal, liberal MP for the area, shall we? It is a big idea, a new world order, a world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. After 1989, President Bush kept said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. There is a chance for the President of the United States to use this disaster to carry out what his father, a phrase his father used, I think, only once and hasn't been used since, and that is a new world order. Okay, I don't want to get too close to them, but uh, you see that all over town. Like beautiful women, I mean, with complete losers, man. What? What on earth are all these beautiful women doing with these losers? Not saying they belong with me by any means, like, I'm no prize either, but uh, you should see the mismatches, man. It's unbelievable. Like, I don't know, it smells like Mooney to me. Not saying it is them, but I don't know, that seemed to be some of the power the Moonies had was beautiful women. So those guys who were just walking with that girl went on earth.
Have you ever seen? It's probably the first time they've ever spoken to a girl of that fucking caliber, right? They'll do anything she says. Anyway, just went to the library and they kind of walked past me and looked at me. So I came out and I'm going back to the library and do what I wanted to do there. Peace. So that the problem of the Bush presidency will be the emergence of a new international order. Within the next four years, we will see the emergence of a new international the beginning, order. The beginning of a new international order. The pieces are in flux. Soon they will settle again. Before they do, let us reorder this world around us. I was alone with this guy all the way. And then when I get to the nut house, last thing I remember is kind of standing in front of the cop car. And the cops like, and uh, I think I was in the cuffs. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We were in the parking lot, and he was over talking to somebody. That's like the last thing I remember. I was dead sober, man. Dead sober. And then the report said I fucking seen bugs crawling out of my skin and fucking was threatening people. I would have fucking been a little aggressive there because I know what they do in there. I was tortured in there before, like, psychologically, fucking pharmaceuticals. And, uh, yeah, and then the, uh, the doctor just kept, the nurse just kept giving me fucking, I don't know, the drugs weren't that bad, they weren't that pushy, because a couple of them were alright, like, they knew there was fucking nothing wrong with me, a couple of them, like, and, uh, but Dr. Cochran, man, that fucking guy did not want to let me leave, him and my dad, like, no way. And then they want to start injection treatments on me with this shit that lasts up to a month. Like, you take it fucking orally, it lasts for up to 12 hours, and then you can't fucking sit still. And what, they're going to put it into me with a needle, and it lasts a month? And then I got to stay there a month, and if you act out, you got to stay longer and then longer, and you're never out. Like. Anyway, so I threatened the motherfucker, and he's like, if you don't submit to this, fucking, we're going to call the cops and have you charged. Because you threatened me. And so I said, fuck it, call the cops. I'd rather jail than this fucking shit. Like, call them. So they're not letting me do this. So we call them. <laughs> Came in and arrested me. And then the next day at my bail hearing, I had to go to, there was a big letter that came from Dr. Cochran. No, oh, he's fucking, I diagnosed with schizophrenia and all kinds of shit. Like, like, what the fuck, man? Then I had to go to Waypoint for two months, and if you get a bad assessment there, you could have the rest of your life. Like, maximum security, like, fucking insane. Like, yeah, people are just fucking nuts, nuts there. Anyway, that's my, I don't know, installment of Nazi psychoanalysis. There's more. <laughs> All right, that's one little leg of the trip through a Nazi psychoanalysis A free thought and racism. Toodoo. Good evening, everybody. President Obama and British Prime Minister Gordon today calling for a new world order to tackle our global economic crisis. And the president outlined his vision of a new world order in which the U.S. would participate fully. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. All right. I want to talk about... North Bay is textbook 1930s Germany. Got a copy. I already made this video, but accidentally deleted it. Okay. Well, guy parking beside me here now. Anyway, okay. 
And I've learned to don't trust anything hearsay in this city. Not that everybody's a fucking bullshitter. I think I'm just always surrounded. They're following me all the time. So the people I interact with are fucking retards. They're them, and they try to fill you full of misinformation. They've been doing it since I got out of jail. Actually, my whole fucking life spent in Mattawa was just filled with bullshit. Everybody there is filled with bullshit. Once I got out into the real world, I had to relearn everything on my own. So, uh, yeah. There you got it, man. Fucking North Bay is textbook fucking 1930s Germany. Uh, well, it's just about time to head for breakfast. Today's a good day. Today's the day that the hunters become the hunted. Now I hunt you. Do you understand? I'm not a prey idol. I made a mistake. Now justice comes for you, you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. Who did you think you were fucking with? <laughs> out there it's their rink it's their ice and it's their fucking town but tonight yeah, out there in the ice and let them know you're there get that fucking stick in his side let them know you're there yeah. ah, get that lumber in his teeth now let them know you're there that church spotter is on the move now we're gonna stalk him shall we